The Pentagon said today it was a success. They were able to shoot down a fake warhead over the Pacific. A first of its kind test designed to send a message to North Korea. Here's David Martin. The interceptor missile left a contrail in the sky as it blasted off from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Its target, a mock intercontinental ballistic missile, had launched minutes earlier from the Kwajalein Atoll in the Pacific. The interceptor released its kill vehicle to maneuver itself into the path of the incoming ICBM, aiming to destroy it by the sheer force of the impact a bullet hitting a bullet. The Pentagon's Missile Defense Agency said the kill vehicle intercepted and destroyed the target in a direct collision. 36 interceptors are based in silos in California and Alaska, but this was the first test against a missile traveling at the trajectory and speed of an ICBM, a weapon which could threaten the U.S. mainland with a nuclear warhead. North Korea continues developing shorter range missiles and its leader, Kim Jong-un, has announced he intends to launch an ICBM sometime this year. Before this latest test, the missile defense system had a track record of nine successful intercepts in 17 tries against other types of missiles. Despite that modest record, General Lori Robinson, the head of Northern Command, which operates the missile defense system, assured Congress it would work. I am extremely confident of our capability to defend the United States of America and be able to intercept an ICBM should it reach our homeland. If it were the real thing, the U.S. would launch multiple interceptors against an incoming ICBM, so if one missed, the second or third might hit it. Missile defense is a work in progress trying to stay ahead of the emerging threat of a North Korean ICBM. Since North Korea hasn't yet tested an ICBM, you would have to say that for now, the U.S. is ahead on points. Jeff? All right, David, thank you.